Hello everybody, it is January uh, 27th, January 27th, uh, 2020. Uh, this is Sasha over here. Say hello, Sasha. Hello, hello. Sasha is 18 years old now. Um, and I wanted to record this video because this is for anybody that has a cat or a dog. Uh, that has kidney disease. Um, Sasha was diagnosed with kidney, kidney disease around uh, middle of, I guess really late 2017. Late 2017. She takes medicine and she's on special food diet. Um, this is from Japan by the way. I'm in Tokyo. Uh, I don't know if you could tell. I mean Japan or Tokyo? Maybe if I pan over to the TV. Uh, there, see, so you should be able to tell them in Japan. Anyway, um, my doctor said, oh, this is Zena over here. Hello, Zena. Zena, say hello. Zena is fine. She's a Siamese cat, she's about eight. Uh, although I worry about her since she's a Siamese cat because I had a Bengal. Um, you know, there are, Bengal's another one of those pure breeds that gets weird, crazy diseases. And uh, I know that Siamese cats also get just really freaky diseases, just all kinds of weird stuff. She doesn't have anything yet, thank God, but we'll see. Hopefully she's using anything, but you know, I'm, this is just for anybody that has a cat or a dog with that's older and has kidney disease. Apparently, this happens, you know, after 14, 15 years of age. Um, you know, basically over 90% of cats, at least, I don't know about dogs, suffer from some form of kidney failure. Eventually, she's lost about 75% or even maybe 80% now of her kidney function. And it, we can't get that back. It's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. So I don't know how much longer she'll be around with us. Hopefully she'll make it to the spring. But uh, I don't know. We don't know. Like, she's gradually losing more weight every month. You know? Sasha, can you see? Oh, there you go. There you go. So that's not good. But there's really nothing we can do about it. All we can do is keep her comfortable and, you know... She'll hang around as long as she can. But just to give you an idea of what this costs in Japan versus North America, because I've lived in the States and Canada. And uh, so this is just an example of one bill. My last bill. It's all in Japanese, so if you can't read it, sorry about that. But So this here. Uh, so 600 yen, that's for the basic visit. 600 yen is the basic visit. That's that's only six dollars actually. Uh, five thousand yen, five thousand yen, five thousand yen. So five thousand yen is fifty dollars. So we ran a bunch of tests this past time we took there. We even did a we did blood work and we did a cancer uh, like an M MRI. We did an MRI to see if there's any can internal cancer in the organs. And so all of that came to this price here. 17,710 yen, that's about $150 if you do the conversion. So, you know, the visit, blood work, MRI, and everything was $150. That's like, you know, if I did that in Canada or the States, it'd be like five or $600. This is her blood work here. Thanks. You know. Basically everything that is in the red, she's a little high there, but it's actually, her blood work was actually pretty good. So even though, uh, so that's calcium. That's her calcium level. So calcium level is a little high, but it's not a disaster. Uh, CRE, that's creatine, I think creatine. Again, a little high, but it's not actually that bad. <clears throat> and over here, you know, this is her food. 
it's uh, Hills KD, so kidney, KD. This is for like any any cat that has kidney and liver problems. Uh, Sasha's liver is, you know, it's okay. It, there's definitely some liver damage, but it's nowhere near as bad as her kidney. Um, if you have a cat, this bag actually looks exactly like the bag you would find in North America. It's just in Japanese. But other than that, the design, the color, and the photo, it looks exactly like it does in North America. So it's kind of interesting. Um, this is the rest of my apartment. So anyway, but that's it. Um, you know, if anybody wants to leave a comment, please go ahead. Um, you know, again, I don't know how much longer she'll be around, but 18 years, that's a long time. I mean, there's not much else you can do, I don't think, really. So, and I may go back to Canada uh, in the next few months, maybe, or three months. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if she's going to make the plane trip. That's the other thing. I don't know if she'll make the plane trip back home. So I, that's, man, this is really tough. I don't know. I don't know. Because I brought both Sasha and Zaina here from North America uh, in 2017, almost three years ago. Uh, and she didn't really have this problem then. So they made the flight over fine, but I don't know if Sasha would make the flight back. So, man, that's really, really tough. I don't know what to do. So that's it for now. If anyone else has a cat or dog with this kind of issue, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what your experience is because um, I'd like to know about it. Um, give you one little more. Let's look over here. Yeah, it's overcast today. Not a sunny day in Tokyo. So, okay, that's about it. So thanks for watching and I'll update you on her prognosis maybe uh, maybe a few weeks from now or a month from now we'll see. Okay, that's it. Bye bye.